angels of God are servants. The Bible calls them ministering spirits. Ministry. If you read another translation, let me get another translation here. Are they are not the angels or ministry spirit servant in, in brackets sent out in the service of God for the assistance of those who are to inherit salvation? They are sent to serve us. In the hierarchy of heaven, oh God, give me time to be able to deal with this because I don't want to deal with it at any point in time. Because I want Pastor Mirella to start preaching from Tuesday. In the hierarchy of the Spirit, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, they are the creator. They created everything. Do you know the next person in that hierarchy is human beings that are born again? After the hierarchy are the angels of God and in the, among the angels that are hierarchy, the seraphims, the cherubims, and other angels. The hack angels and other angels. After the angels are Satan and demons. After Satan and demons are unbelievers, they are the last. They are under the rulership of devil. Human beings. So when some people say, ah, angels are very powerful and whatever, we are more powerful than them. People who are redeemed by the blood of Jesus, they become Jesus. Just like now. Somebody say, I can have respect for Pastor David. I don't have respect for Sister Mimi. It's because the person is stupid. You know the reason why? From the moment Sister Mimi is married to Pastor David, they become the same. The first lady of America and the president, had, if you taught the first lady, you have taught president. As a matter of fact, you have taught more than the president. Probably if you even touch the president. You see that nobody really attacks first lady. Maybe they want to throw shoes. They don't throw to the ladies. Because they'll just kill you. The, the security people will just kill you. Because ladies are more delicate. You can throw to the president. And say, don't do that in our country. They just put you in three months jail. But you go and do to the wife. From the moment we receive Jesus as our Lord and our Savior, we become Jesus. We become Christ. The Bible says we are seated in the heavenly places. Know where you are. We are seated in the heavenly places, far above principalities and powers. We are hid in Christ, in God. Angels are lower than us. They are under us. After the angels are demons. Demons, Satan, they are under the angels. Angels can deal with them. Under Satan and demons are unbelievers, all unbelievers. Ephesians chapter 2, the Bible talks there that, uh, that we were like them before, people who are ruled by the prince of the power of the air, in whom is the spirit of disobedience. Demons rule over them. They are under the rulership of demons. All right? But angels, angels of God, here, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel, uh, what's the name? Uh, people used to mention, you know? Huh? <laughs> used to say it in some churches until when you see it in the Bible, please. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying now? Michael is in charge of war. Gabriel is in charge of messages. And there are other mighty angels under them. And look at what the Bible tells us about the angels of God. Psalm 103, verse 20. Psalm 103, verse 20. Psalm 103, verse 20. Are you there? And the Bible says, bless the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandment, hackling unto the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all his angels, who excel, they are excellent in strength. They do the commandment of God, they hearken to the voice of his word. They excel in strength. As we are talking right now, angels of God are here. Each child of God has a guardian angel. As a matter of fact, Jesus said, he said, don't chase the children away because their angels behold the face of my father in heaven. We all have, we are, angels that are guarding us are here. There are guardian angels. There are angels that are in charge of services. 
And so many of us, and where we go to this, so many of us never engage any of our angels. You are just always afraid, always sorrowful, always complaining, always under one weather or the other, always sick, always whatever. When people don't engage, the angels of God, they excel in strength. When you go to an important occasion, maybe they have invited you. Oh yeah, you've gone to Italy to go and represent uh, NUIG before. As soon as you got to the airport, what happened? You met with a guy, we say, we placard Mirella. And then he takes you into the car, takes your bag, takes everything. You can I've gone to Congo before. And the person who was sent to come and pick me, me, I didn't even wait for the person. I didn't even try to look for the person. As soon as I see somebody just laughing with me, I just went to the person. Now, I incurred charges. As at far back 2004, I incurred charges of almost 120 euro dollars. That's what the man said he would collect. Whereas they have sent somebody to come and pick me. You know, the reason why a lot of us struggle in this life, the angels of God are not engaged. They excel in strength. Don't forget the first thing about them is that they are ministering spirit sent to those who are saved. If you are saved, wave your hand. If you have received Jesus as your Lord and yourself, you wave your hand. Yes, you have angels in your attendance. You have angels that are attending to you. And so many of us don't know. And you need to know. And outside of them, you may not be really helped. Outside of them. You heard that Jesus, uh, Cedric was telling us how Jesus was praying. And angels of God had to come to strengthen him. He said, when they wanted to, he said, I can call for 12 legions of angels to save me. That means that our legions are fallible to us because we are Jesus. We are Christ. They are fallible. They can go and take your file where somebody hid it and put it where it's supposed to be put. Ezekiah was having some problem. A Syrian army besieged him and he didn't know what to do. And he began to pray. And the prophet of God went to him and said, do not worry. I think it was Isaiah said, do not worry. You don't need to fight in this battle because I will defend you. And as soon as God said I will defend you, you know what happened? Just one angel went into the camp. There were 187 or 185, 185,000 soldiers. And one angel just blew on them like this. The Bible says, behold, when they wanted to wake up in the morning, they were dead corpses. They were trying to wake up. These guys were trying to wake up. Still thinking they were normal human beings. <laughs> Only one angel facing 185,000 enemies, soldiers. Are you hearing me? They are here with you. They are here with us. But some of us, the only thing we do, we just complain. And so the angels just put his hand. Sometimes, some of us, our angels are just sitting down, drinking tea. Say, give me tea, angel. Give me, please give me tea from heaven. This guy, since they sent me to him, never said one thing. He's just complaining. Inside his room, just complaining. No. He look at, she look at herself in the mirror and say, Lord, look at the way that you created me. Why am I tiny? Look at my hand. Look at my hand. Look at my face. Why is my face like this? Eh? Even the angels, they say, wow. This guy is just uglifying herself more than even this thing. And someone says, look, look at leg. He's just big. He's like elephant. Huh? Some people say, the leg is so soft. People like us get in front of the angels and say, oh, good morning. Don't you see we are good? <laughs> we still have some today. And then we now say, we want you to do this. They see, the hair are turning white. Make them black. Hey! You hear? <laughs> we don't complain to them. We speak to them. Do you understand what I'm saying? We don't complain to the angels of God. We speak to them. We send them on their hand. Are you listening? Look at what the devil told Jesus. Psalm 91, verse 11. The devil, Satan confirmed this. And all of you, when you read it, you will know that it is true. Psalm 91, verse 11. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. Did Satan call this to Jesus or not? He said, because God has said he will give his angel to fall down. Be from the topinac, we say, fall down now. Nah. The devil quoted it, although he was quoting it wrong. We are not using it to tempt that. And Jesus said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. I know what to use angels for. So there are angels given to your child to keep you in your, your ways, to prosper you. So that you do not dash your foot against any stone. So that no evil happens to you, there are angels. 
Now I've said three things about the angels. Now angels are your servants. God sent them to serve you. Number two, they excel in strength. They act into God's word. So that means children of God who have the word of God in their mouth, you can re- when you release eternal life, they obey, they excel in strength. Satan can't handle them. You know the reason why Satan can handle the demons, I mean the angels, I mean the demons, uh, I mean the angels that God sent from heaven during the time of Daniel, there was no blood of Jesus. Revelation refast it. Revelation chapter 12. The angels were fighting with devil. Uh, Twelve horns. I mean seven horns. Seven something head. Dragon. Red dragon. They were fighting. They discovered that this is a struggle. <laughs> Go and read Revelation 12. From verse 1. They said this is a devil. All of a sudden they say, the blood of Jesus is against you. And verse 11 I say, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. But not yet. By the words of their testimony. Come on, let go there. I want you to take this and don't be a weakling anymore. Don't be a victim anymore. Don't be a victim of circumstances. Don't be a victim of, of accident. Don't be a victim of wrong things. Be a victor. You have all it takes. Sometimes, some letters come to me also and I got sick. As, as soon as I go, I say, angels of God, see to this letter. See to this letter. I release you, go and undo this letter. Do the will of God over this letter. Sometimes when I know what to do, I tell them this is what to do. I do not like this thing. Overturn it. Let me tell you. Human beings that issue letters to you. Human beings that do so many. They are under Satan. You are over the angels. Angels are over, this, over Satan and his court. You have so much power. In the hierarchy of spiritual power, you are higher than the devil seated in the heavenly places. Far above. The Bible says far above. We are seated in the heavenly places. Far above principalities and powers. We are far above. We are not begging. We are far above them. Look at Revelation. Chapter number 12. From today, you shall no longer lose in the battles of life. You are not saying amen. I said from today, you shall no longer lose in the battles of life. I said from today, you shall no longer lose in the battles of life. Amen. The angels of the Lord keep thee. In that, look at verse 11. And they overcame. Let's see from verse 1. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun and a moon under her feet and upon her head. Crown of 12 stars. And seeing people with a child cried, Ravel him in birth and pain to be delivered. And there appear another wonder. Have I told you before that there is eternal life, there is eternal death? First of all, they saw one wonder. <laughs> and they say, hey, there appear another wonder. This guy is also a wonder. But negative wonder. That's Satan. There appear another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon having seven eggs and ten horns and seven crowns upon his head. To know that it's the devil. The Bible says, And his tail drew the third part of the stars from heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to defy a child as soon as he was born. Let's see. Verse 7. First number 7. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And dragon fought and his angels. Can you see? That guy can fight. Until verse 11. And the Bible said they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony and they loved not their life to the dead. In other words, they don't fear anything. Once you present the blood of Jesus against Satan and his angels and you release your words, the angels of God concerning you will win. The angels were trying to engage Satan. Ah, eh, the Lord rebuke you. you are still. All of a sudden they said this guy is, is taking longer than necessary. They saw him the blood of Jesus. Say, hey! And the Bible said they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. And the man said, This blood saved me. And by this blood I rebuke you by the words of their testimony. And Satan fled. Today I see Satan fleeing. Amen. Concerning your destiny, I see Satan fleeing. Amen. Concerning every aspect of your life, I see Satan fleeing. Amen. Concerning everything that concerns you, I see Satan fleeing. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Somebody shout, I have victory. Say I have victory in all aspects of life. 
by the blood of Jesus, by the words of my testimony, I have victory in the name of Jesus. Don't ever be afraid. But let me tell you this about the angel. To actively engage the angels of God, there are five things you must do. To actively engage the angels of God, there are five things you must do. Number one thing you must